And thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible Lesson. This week, we continue to hear about the stories that Jesus shared during his life. Today's Bible reading focuses on God's kingdom. I'll be reading Luke chapter 13, verses 18 to 21. This week, I'll be reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, God's Kingdom. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? And to what should I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in the garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again, Jesus said, To what should I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour, until all of it was leavened. To go along with this week's Bible reading, I have three discussion questions for you to talk about with your family. Question one, why do you think God's kingdom is compared to a mustard seed and yeast? Question two, what do you think God's kingdom looks like? Question three, what do you need to do to help God's kingdom grow? Take some time this week and discuss those questions with your family. The first thing we have to look at when we're talking about this week's Bible reading is what is the kingdom of God? We're talking about the kingdom of God, but, but what really do we mean? I think that anywhere followers of Jesus are doing God's work and living as God wanted, that the kingdom of God is present. So for me, the kingdom of God is the place where we're all working to build a world that God wanted us to build, a world of love, inclusion, compassion, peace, and tolerance. To me, that's what the kingdom of God looks like. So in this week's Bible reading, Jesus compared the kingdom of God to a mustard seed and to yeast. Now, if we look at both of these things, we can notice that both of those things are very small. So these are very, very small things, but in time, they grow and produce other things, big things. And so I think that's what Jesus meant when he was comparing God's kingdom to these items. The first is that God's kingdom grows. It grows slowly, but surely and strongly. Think about a tiny seed that's going to grow into a tree. It doesn't pop up overnight. It takes many years to grow into this tree. Now, yeast doesn't take as long to raise if you're making bread or something else like that, but it still takes a long time. The last time I used yeast, I had to wait overnight for the bread to rise. The next point that I think Jesus was making in comparing God's kingdom to a mustard seed and yeast is that the kingdom starts off with something very small, but grows into something big. And I think by this, Jesus is saying, that every little single thing matters. Every single person matters in God's kingdom. And every small action that we do makes a difference. No matter how small, it all matters and it all makes a difference. So don't ever think that you don't matter in God's kingdom. You do. And every action that you do that helps build God's kingdom is so very important. The last point that I think Jesus was making by comparing God's kingdom to a mustard seed and yeast, is that growing God's kingdom doesn't happen by itself. Just like with a mustard seed. You can't just put a mustard seed on the counter and it'll grow into a tree. What does a mustard seed need in order to grow? It needs water, it needs sunlight, and it needs a good environment to grow, like warm soil. The same thing with yeast. You can't just put yeast with some flour and something will grow. You once again need to add water, and it needs to be at the right temperature if it's going to work properly. All of this shows that God's kingdom won't just build by itself. God's kingdom needs other things, just like the seed and the yeast need water. God's kingdom needs all of us. God's kingdom won't grow alone and needs each one of us to share the kingdom and God's love with others. We do that through all of our words and actions. By sharing God's love and what you say and what you do, you are helping to grow God's kingdom. Think about how Jesus' followers started. It started with just a handful of disciples, and now it has grown into the church as we know it today. 
that too is just like a tiny mustard seed, or like the yeast, that given it enough time, love, and the right materials, grows into something so big. Remember, we can all help bring about God's kingdom, one small act at a time. For this week's craft idea, I suggest making a mustard tree. First, draw a big tree trunk on a piece of paper. Then, draw the same number of leaves for how old you are. So if you're eight years old, you would draw eight leaves on the tree. Then, in each leaf, I want you to either write down or draw a picture of one way that you can help God's kingdom grow. This will help remind you that every small act that you do will help God's kingdom grow big and strong. Please join me for a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for this message from Jesus, for the reminder that we all matter and we're all important, no matter how young, how old, how strong, how weak, how little, how big we all may be. God, continue to remind us that we are important parts of your kingdom. And stay with us as we work to help grow your kingdom. God, we ask your blessing today on everyone who's sick, everyone in the hospital, everyone who's grieving, everybody who's working so hard to keep us all safe. God, please also bless everyone that we're thinking of in our hearts and minds this week. Please watch over all of them and all of us until we meet together again. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible lesson. And don't forget that every small action helps to build the large kingdom of God here on earth. So think about what you'll do this week to help build God's kingdom. Have a great week. Bye.